welcome you all here to Puerto Rico and to Ponce. I know that most of you have had a long journey and I really appreciate that you're here with us and that you've accepted our invitation and I'm so thrilled to have you as our guests here with us tonight. So how many of you have been to Puerto Rico? There's a few. So even if you have been to Puerto Rico, it's most likely that you've been to San Juan but not necessarily to Ponce, the real Puerto Rico. So, as you'll notice, we, trend, we try to do things a little bit differently at, at MINI. And that's, we feel, that comes across well for the brand. Uh, the country here has people that are so hospitable, so warm, invitational. And we feel this connects excellent with the MINI brand. So we're here in Ponce. And Ponce is the second largest city in, on the island here. And it's renowned in particular for, uh, so it's the center of architecture and design. It's a center of learning. You're learning tonight. So why are we here? Um, we deliberately chose to be here because we feel there's a great connection between what we're trying to do in a car company, which is designing, building, selling, and marketing cars, and what they try to do here at the university, which is offering a very unique and holistic approach to the curriculum that they're offering to the students here. So to tell you a little bit more about the school itself and about the curriculum that's offered to the students, I'd like to introduce you to Juan Emanuele, who is the operations coordinator for the design faculty. Juan, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, I would like to welcome everybody to the School of Architecture. Uh, School of Architecture is part of the Pontifical Catholic University of Puerto Rico. Uh, we've been in operation for close to four years now, which is a, means it's a very new school. Um, when Minnie came around and asked what this building was about, because actually they, they didn't know about the School of Architecture. So we had a tour and then we started envisioning things. Uh, I think I can see the connection that you are trying to project and what we do every day here in the school. Uh, our school is a very interesting curriculum. Our students, like you said, it's, it's a holistic approach to architecture. Uh, it's design, it's building, it's construction, it's legal aspects, it's entrepreneurship is marketing because we treat the practice of architecture as a business it's a design business pure design usually stays in that realm we like to go a step further that's why our students uh, enjoy all these steps in the design process from the first year where they start designing the fundamentals of design that second year, they start looking at the history of design, architecture, preservation, adaptive conservation. Then third year, they start building technology, structures, the actual physical part of building architecture. Fourth year, they start learning about context, the urban settings, landscape. And then on the fifth year, it's actually kind of like the, the final experience where they actually know that architecture is a business. It's uh, we, have, we have to know the legal aspects of the practice, and something that we promote here that is not common in many architecture schools is entrepreneurship, feasibility, marketing, branding. We offer that in the school. Um, so, in a sense, it is most like what many or other automotive design groups do from point A to point C. We do not leave the design process halfway there and leave somebody else to do it. It's a holistic approach. Um, so I guess if you've seen technology is a very important part of this school. Uh, no drafting tables, as you can see. Our students do 
apply fundamental uh, design techniques, uh, sketching, model making, that kind of thing. But of course, technology will actually bring everything together from point A to point C. So we impose a great deal of technology in all our design phases, as you can see. Um, in terms of why this school is here, such a technological school in a very historical uh, setting, well actually that is by design too. And in a sense I can see some relevance in terms of what me has done, is bringing something historical, bring it back in a way that is now is technology, it's everything up to date, but it, the essence of what the Mini was and what it is right now, the essence has stayed there. And that's something I, uh, I think is very important. Uh, you can't always try to reinvent the wheel. The wheel was, re it was invented already, so uh, you just try to make it better. And that's what we have in the Mini. And that's the belief we have here in the school. Um, well, I know the schedule is pretty tight, so I want to thank you all for being here and uh, welcome you to Ponce and uh, enjoy. Thank you.